Greetings. In this tutorial, we'll look at updating your data from FL Studio 11 or 12 to 20. Before we start, it's worth noting that if you open FL Studio 20 and click Help Index, at the bottom you'll see a section Updating and Upgrading Procedure. Then Foolproof Update takes you to a section Copying or Migrating an Existing FL Studio Installation. Everything we're about to discuss is listed in detail there including all the folder locations, so reference it after this tutorial if needed. Let's get started. First, open FL Studio 11 or 12, Options, File Settings. Make note of any browser extra search folders. These are your custom browser folders, and importantly where FL Studio will search for content when loading projects, sample stems, etc. So copy those across to FL Studio 20. Next, VST Plugin Search Paths. Click Manage Plugins and make sure any folders you see there in orange are copied to the same setting in FL Studio 20. The ones in white at the top are the default search folders, so it's only the orange custom search folders you need to manage. If they're not already in FL Studio 20, click the plus folder icon and browse to the folder, then click OK. That's it for file settings. Next we'll dive into the FL Studio 11 or 12 installation folder and copy raw data. We'll copy this data into the user data folder. In FL Studio 11 and 12, this was called the shared data folder. The FL Studio 20 location is the same, but we've changed it to include all your personal FL Studio files, and so moving them out of the installation folder. This means future updates after FL Studio 20 will automatically include all the data we're about to copy, and so making updates much simpler. The folder is under Users, your computer account, Documents, Image Line, Data. That's in the Documents folder of your computer account, and this is true for both Windows and Mac. If you haven't installed FL Studio 12 or lower on the computer, the data folder won't be used and the FL Studio folder where your data is stored will be directly under ImageLine. Let's dig into the FL Studio 12 installation folder and copy our personal data across to 20. Right click the FL Studio 11 or 12 icon and choose Open File Location. I'll put 12 on the left and on the other side we'll go to Documents, ImageLine, Data, FL Studio, on the right. First, projects. If you have saved your projects in the FL Studio install, they will be under Data Projects. So in the FL Studio 20 user data folder, I'll open Projects and copy them across. If you want to grab your backup projects, those are up one level in FL Studio 12, and I can copy those across too. Next, Project Audio. In 12, that's under Data, Patches. You'll see three important folders, Recorded, Your Audio Recordings, Rendered, and Sliced Beats. Under 20, Open Audio, and copy the Recorded and Rendered folders across. Sliced Beats is now called Sliced Audio, so I'll go into it and copy the files that way. Sliced Beats or Sliced Audio files are created when you make edits in Edison, for example. Let's say I drag a slice to the playlist. That created a file Basic Snare 2. If I look under the Sliced Audio, there it is. So you may have a lot of these files if you haven't been using project folders. Next, MIDI controllers. If you use MIDI controllers, these links will be under FL Studio 12, System, Config Mapping. Under 20, it's Settings Mapping. So copy that across to preserve all your MIDI controller mappings. Finally, your plugin database. This includes your custom VSTs and any thumbnails you've created for them. In 12, that's under FL Studio 12 Data Patches Plugin Database. Under 20, Browse to Presets, and there's the Plugin Database folder. So I'll copy that across. 
That's it. After copying the plugin database, it's a good idea to open FL Studio 20, Options, Manage Plugins, and do a Verify Plugin Scan. Just checking under My Projects, My Projects appear, and under Sliced Audio, there's My Files. As noted, the good news is you won't have to do this in future when updating from FL Studio 20 to higher levels. Your personal data is now permanently outside FL Studio in your computer's documents image line FL Studio folder. It will also make migrating FL Studio to a new machine a lot easier as you just need to copy this single folder across. The same goes for backups. Keeping your FL Studio folder backed up will have you covered. With that, enjoy updating to FL Studio 20. <laughs>